Hello, Gary Champion, Psychic Medium again. Day is coming to a close. It's dark outside. Everybody's taking in their cat and put out the dog or whatever people do at this time of night. And um, I was thinking maybe I'd do some more predictions or premonitions. And I only had one person realize that I got the virus in China right before anybody else knew what it was. And so, um, all I had to do was mention it. Someone saying, um, it's more widespread than we think. And China's lying about how many people have been infected. It's lots. It's many. Maybe 100,000. They have widespread panic going on there. And um, what they fear is economic collapse, so they're not reporting it. Nor are they stopping anybody from getting on planes to go any place they want to go. Um, actually, they're not equipped to deal with it. They don't know what to do with it. You can throw them in a hospital and give them this and give them that, but they don't know. Uh, it's a rapidly growing contagion. It has something to do with food, and it's born in the blood. And um, it can be stymied. Um, this is interesting. Someone's saying beta blockers. I don't know what that is. Having a clue, they have something to do with stymieing this. Large doses of something that's maybe it's a metaphor. I believe they're going to something to prevent it from developing, to stymie its growth, and then it just dies naturally in the blood. But this thing's already worldwide. It didn't take very long. Um, people are getting on planes and ships, and they're breathing on everybody as though they, and I think some of them know they have it. They just don't care. But uh, it's a rapidly spreading contagion, just like all of these are. It's risky business, someone's saying. I don't believe it's as dangerous as other things we've had, but it's, it's like number three or four in deadliness. How I got off on this, if I hadn't said that phrase, I wouldn't have got it. It wouldn't be. Um, it mimics flu virus. Now, some people are going to say you read that, but no, I haven't read anything about it. My wife talks about it because she travels, and planes are no longer flying to China. They've all said, forget it. And interestingly enough, not because um, I'm getting that they're not doing it because they fear for their, their pilots and flight attendants and anything else. Um, people are refusing to take those flights, or they're not showing up for work. So, something about Pan Am. They're not even an airline anymore, are they? Anyway, um, they fear that this will... Um, they can't do business there because flight crews won't fly there. They're just not showing up. And that's why they've canceled these flights. Not because they... Big business, you know. Contracts have to be filled. But in this case, I think... Um, The big danger is at sea. Once one sailor on a ship gets it, they pretty much all have it, and they'll quarantine that ship. It's airborne, but something about a food contagion. Um, I believe it has something to do with animals. It starts off in animals and then migrates to humans. And um, this thing's... Um, 
on about its fourth or fifth change. I'm not sure what the word is for that. Um, the virus is changing in people, and then it come it, it comes in as one thing, and sort of incubates within the body and comes out uh, as another entirely different kind of danger. Mutates, that's the word they're saying. I couldn't get that. Mutates within the body and then, anyway. Hopefully I can move on from that and get you some other stuff here. Y'all seem to like predictions. And if you watch them, they're, you see that they're accurate. And everything that's in these prediction videos has come true. Everything. So, I mean, I don't think it takes any great genius. I think people have done this before. Okay, um, someone is going to pardon one of too many people. They're going to pardon one too many killer, um, rapist, um, and it's going to come back. When you pardon people who are guilty of heinous crimes, they go out and commit more heinous crimes because it's in their nature to do it. They just got caught. Okay. Uh, spy satellites um, were amateurs again. We don't know what we've got till it's gone. That's interesting sort of indicates to me that we had a satellite that worked and we went beyond it and now we should go back to that satellite because it works better than the one they've got now, than the current model, which happens with um, advanced things. Some satellite that's communication satellite is going to self-destruct. It's just going to come apart. I believe it's going to be hit by tiny little space dust or something and just explode. Isn't this interesting? See, I'm learning this at the same time I'm saying it. And of course, when I leave here, I won't remember it. I'll have to watch it myself to understand what it means. There's also a new satellite prepping to go up to replace it with because they see it. Its orbit is decaying. It's getting close to the Earth. And the one they're sending up... Um, That interesting. You see, it's so good it can look in windows, basically. Interesting. Reflective surfaces. Something to do with reflective surfaces. It can look down and look at a reflective surface and see sideways. That's very strange. Um, and I believe current space satellites that are up there are being affected by other countries sort of giving them a shot. They're not blowing them up, but they're deteriorating them. They're influencing and overheating, um, using something to do this to our satellites. That they're Actively trying to bring these satellites down. Here's the interesting thing. They don't want us to see what's in the middle of China. Isn't that interesting? They don't want us to see in there. I believe it's too late. I believe we have seen what's in there. And some kind of devastation. Not sure what it is. I don't believe it's something we'll ever see. If someone's aimed things at these satellites from space, not from Earth, in an attempt to overheat them and um, thwart the safety thing that is in these satellites. Gee, this is just strange stuff, isn't it? And I believe a couple of them have come down already, and several are overheating and no longer responding the way they should, so we shoot new ones up there. 
shielded a little better. It's an ongoing war in space, isn't it? Uh, we put them up there and they destroy them. But they're doing it in a way so as not to attract attention. Sort of like it's our fault. Sort of mimic something that happens to satellites anyway. It's happening far too soon, far too regularly. I don't know what that means. Someone is saying that the world has become more contentious, more dangerous, and we've kind of gotten used to it. And that's a bad sign. That um, anger and events that are happening now regularly never used to, and now they're so regular we've gotten used to it. And something about violence at home, it's the same thing. that We've gotten so used to it that it's normal. We don't even react to it anymore. And there's where the danger is. Okay, well, I guess that's enough of this. I don't want to take up your time. Anyway, these are predictions. February the 2nd, 2020. Almost 7 o'clock, I think. No fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching.